welcome back so today i'm going to be recording my first curly hair routine tutorial um so i've just filmed it this is the finished um product if you want to call it that um so yeah i'll be showing you how i achieve these curls um every time i do my hair and they will last you well they last me about seven days so with some top up it's a good foundation to go and yeah so just a little bit of background on my hair journey so i actually as i said in my intro video always have my hair straight um school uni work really until probably about um three four years ago i'd have my hair straight all the time and i will insert a picture of how it used to look and the curl pattern was just kind of gone just very loose very um kind of straight and just frizzy so it um definitely what it wasn't what it is today but um yeah basically through just using loads of products conditioning it finding what way my hair went what i'd find is some people would say oh this product is amazing and then it just wouldn't do anything for my hair <laughs> or it just wouldn't do what i wanted for my hair so um yeah i had to find my own way basically but i've got a bunch of products that are my kind of holy grail now i just use as part of my all the time routine i do change it up a little bit but on the whole this is what i do so yeah, I'm gonna go straight in. I'm gonna go ahead and cleanse and shampoo my hair. I will, this is wash day. These are day seven curls. So definitely um, need to have a, a deep conditioner and cleanse. So the products that I use um, to start off with shampooing is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. It's really good for thick and curly hair. I find it does really cleanse my hair well. Should I have quite a build up and have used quite heavy products in the week or it is day seven and it needs a good wash, then I will often do two shampoos to get it, make sure it lathers up um, and really cleanses. I'll then rinse that out and go ahead and use, again, the Shea Moisture Coconut and Viscous Curl and Shine Conditioner. So I will put that in, um, start off a little bit at the root but concentrate mainly on the ends and throughout my hair and then I will take my tangle teaser brush and I will comb it through while it's wet. Um, I discovered this brush, I think I went through, I don't know how many wide tooth combs and they were great and did the job but they would just snap and I'd lose the little teeth in them and yeah it wasn't for me so this brush has definitely been a game changer. Um, it just glides through your hair, it just gets all the knots out, super easy and it doesn't kill your arms and give you an arm ache at the end of it so um, yeah perfect. I go through my hair with that, I'll then rinse it off and um, basically just wring my hair out. I will then use the Curls Unleash by ORS Leave-In Conditioner. It's the Shea Butter and Mango. It smells absolutely delicious. Um, and I'll leave that in my hair just as a really quick kind of comb through whilst I'm just going to go and kind of get dressed and everything like that. And I just like it to start soaking in while my hair dries a little bit. Then when we're back to it, um, all dressed, ready to go. I also like to do, just before I style my hair and get it ready for drying, I have a little concoction of oils that I love and have put together in this little pot. And what I like to do is put it on my hands and then run it through the scalp and around the edges of my hair. I would give myself a scalp massage just before I start styling and um, it is really good to stimulate growth it obviously oils and moisturizes your scalp i won't put too much on the ends of my hair because i do find that it weighs it down and makes them a little bit um tighter and just not as fluffy so i will only i'll make sure it only goes around the edges and then on the actual scalp i will then use the ors olive oil with avocado oil for conditioning so it's kind of a it's a cream gel but it's a thicker um consistency which i quite like while my hair is going to go through the styling and drying process so i'll put this on my hair and make sure everywhere's covered i will then take my denman brush and coat it through again um and considering i've just combed it through in the shower as you can see there still are um a few little tugs and knots that haven't come out so definitely will recomb through and make sure that the, all the hair is covered with the um with the product 
Um, so following that, what I like to do for the perfect finished curl is to actually finger curl. So I know a lot of people um, just prefer to kind of comb it through and scrunch and that gives you the effect. I mean, on the whole, if I was rushing, I would do that. But if I have got time and I'm setting off my curls for the week, then I will finger curl to make sure I've got a really good base of curls to go. So I just go through separating them, wrapping around my finger very loosely um, and just letting them fall as they fall. And then going through the rest of my head and doing the same. Send me your location, let's focus on communication Cause I just need the time and place to come Send me your location, let's I then reach for my diffuser. So I just use a Babyliss hair dryer. Um, it's got a diffuser and it's got three heat settings, which is great. So I just put it onto the middle warm heat. I'll start at the top and work my way down. What I do like to do is to place it on my head and give it a slight pull down because I find that I have such shrinkage with my curls that if I was to either push it up from the bottom or just place it on, then it would just shrink and hold. So I like to apply a little bit of pressure, pulling down slightly to try to elongate the curl. So when we've got to about 80%, so it's still quite damp, but on the whole it's dry. I will then use the Shea Moisture Raw Shea and is it Capalchu? Essentially saying that wrong, probably saying that wrong. Um, Frizz Defense Styling Gel Cream. But what I find is when I am going to separate my curls, I like to have a product on my hand to separate them, something that is going to hold them again um, just in the last drying stages. So I put that through very loosely on my hair and then I will start separating the finger curls so that they are more individual looser curls. So in terms of then finishing styling, I will give my hair another slight blitz with the hairdryer on a cool setting just to close off any hair follicles and also get the last bit of dampness out. If you do want additional volume, you can just take any hair pick or wire tooth comb and just put it through your hair and lift from the root and that will just give you a little bit more shape and body and fullness to your hair, which obviously we love, the bigger the better. And then it's pretty much it. You've then got your finished curls. They should be super defined, still bouncy, but nourished and looking lovely and healthy. Mine, as I said, last me about seven days. The curls definitely stay there and are defined. Um, you might want to touch it up with some water and conditioner throughout the week um, and maybe a little bit of additional oil if it gets a little bit dry. So that is my go-to routine. I hope it was helpful. Um, I hope some of the products that I use will be good for you as well. I will link them all below. Um, it works for me and I did, you know, really have to retrain my curl pattern. So I do find that the finger curling um, makes it get, you know, awesome definition every single time. Um, and it's really reliable, you know, if you're gonna do it for a big day or an event, then you just know that you're pretty much gonna get the same result every time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you use these products um, and what ones that you might recommend that I haven't used. I would of course alternate the products depending on the season and the condition of my hair. Um, of course, subscribe. I will be doing another video on the hair oil that I use so I can let you know a little bit more about that. Um, and yeah, as always, let me know if you wanna see anything, if there's anything that you think could be good for me to do, I'm all in. I'll see you soon, bye.